Hello everyone, this is Benjamin T. Collier, also known as Poison Darth Frog, and I have a rant because there is a story to how I came across this, but I'll assume that you're here for what it actually says in the thumbnail and it's not here to listen to me tell a story. So out of respect for your time, I'll just get into this. Alright, campaign mode. Stage 2. Jellyfish fields. That's me going from stage 1 to stage 2. Even here I have tests to grade. Now, you see the number of blimps up in the corner? Remember that number. I would like to shop. You have nothing I want, I want to skip. There you go. Thank you. Alright. Pause. Pause. Save and exit. Confirm. Campaign mode. Wilderness, stage two. Jellyfish fields. Sure, let's go there. That is me going from stage one to stage two. I'm going to give you a little test. Hello again, Mrs. Puff. Oh, look at that number in the corner. 315. That is not what I had before when I came here. I think I'll take a power-up this time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Pause. Save and exit. Confirm. Campaign mode. Wilderness stage two. Hmm, maybe I'll go to Jellyfish Field. Oh, was that me going from stage one to stage two again? Good day. Hello, Mrs. Puff. I would like another item, please. Pure, I'll take that ring. Thank you. There you go. So to reiterate, this is stage two. This is just stage two, over and over and over again. After getting anything from the shop, as long as I pause, pause and hit save and exit before going into that portal, the next time I load this campaign save, the game will take me back to before I entered the shop. Let's do this a few more times and see what I can get. Go to Urken Armada Invasion this time. See what I can get from there. I've done this a number of times now. Visiting just the two shops that are available first. Over and over again. I haven't even touched Stage 3 yet. Would you like to see my stats? Pause. Would you like to see how many power-ups I have? This is how many power-ups I have. I've got Homing Projectiles, Projectiles Volley. I have all projectiles explode and have a chance of freezing. I have both things I need for the Krabby Patty. I have both of these ring things I need. I got Stinky Fantasy, which is the only thing I was after and the whole reason I ended up discovering the glitch in the first place, but that's a story for later. Got level three Avatar State. And I'm still on stage two. So yeah, in a nutshell, stage two, visit either shop, get something before you go to the portal, hit start, go to save and exit, load up the campaign again. That's it. Just repeat until you have all the things you want from whichever the first two shops are. Sometimes doing this, the game actually changes the layout of the map. Not your progress along the map, but just what spots are available next. Which is itself interesting. That doesn't seem to be consistent. So I'm not sure how exploitable that is. But this glitch with shops uh, there does not appear to be a limit, so far, to how many times I can do this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work on the extra lives, 
power up, my number of lives seems to remain the same. Possibly because that doesn't actually get applied until after you leave the shot. Because if you look at it right now, it just says infinity. Now, I know that's not the case. It's just that I guess you can't die while you're in the shot. So the game doesn't bother doing math until after you've left. But anything you gain and anything you spend gets saved. So I haven't tried this at one of the shops where you actually buy stuff yet. My guess is that whatever money you spent will still be spent. You won't be able to, you won't get that back. But you'll be able to reload the shop however many times you want until you run out of money. In shops like these, which give you one free item per visit, you can just repeatedly visit. As long as you don't habitually go to the portal right after. You gotta try and remember that. So that's the glitch exploit in a nutshell. I'm mentioning this for a couple of reasons. Because I don't know if anybody's noticed this yet. I did Google infinite items glitch and I didn't see anything. So it's possible this is not a widely known thing yet. As soon as Nickelodeon finds about this, I assume they will want to fix it. And they should. This is clearly not how the game is intended to work. The game does enough to make campaign mode easy as it is, as long as you just know how to put the perks themselves to use. Pause. Which, back to story time. That's, that's all this was supposed to be. When I started playing today, this is all I was looking for. I was going to do a video, and I probably still can, I just don't know how long it's going to take, because the entire premise is based off of getting Stinky Fantasy, which I normally can do pretty reliably with the combination of the uh, investigative journalism and Lucky Draw, which gives you rerolls for the shops. But since the update, in which they added this and this, this shows up way less frequently than it used to. I used up all of my rerolls on two separate campaigns and still could not find this one thing. And that was a problem. So the last time I used up all my rerolls, I was just like, well, I'll just exit the game then, go back into the shop, and try again with all of my rerolls back. But once you're looking at what's in the shop, you can't exit without choosing something. So I had to pick something, and then before reaching the portal, I you know, saved and exited, and went back in, thinking I'd have my rerolls back. I did not but the game allowed me to get something else from the same shop. And so I just kept doing that until this showed up. It's basically unlimited rerolls. Plus you get to keep whatever you picked each time. For however long this lasts until they fix this. I would say that this makes campaign mode better, except campaign mode has two serious, problematic glitches that are killing the fun for me. Anytime I unlock Nigel's ghost clone costume and then enter whatever the next stage is, the game crashes. And you can't save from the map. You have to go into a level in order to save which meant that it would not save my progress. The game will not allow me to save after unlocking Nigel's final costume, which means I can just never get that costume. That's just the way it is. And as a completionist, that's a problem for me. Even more worse sister though, in the hub world, when I try switching characters in campaign mode, Nine times out of ten, the game crashes. The game just cannot 
process me wanting to play as other characters. I can't tell you how many times it took me just to be able to play as Lucy Loud again in campaign mode. Because the video that I was going to do works well with Lucy Loud. I cannot get it to work. The game would crash and I would have to restart the game. And that takes time. Because it has to load just the main menu. Then it has to load when you go into campaign mode. I had to be doing something else at the same time, just so that I didn't feel like I was wasting time. Just trying to get Lucy Loud available. So if we finally have a glitch that's actually beneficial to the player instead of being a major problem, then I think the more people know the better. So that is my public service announcement for the day. I still want to try and do this video with Lucy Loud that I had planned, but it requires getting Sticky Fantasy and preferably not all of these other things. That would be cheating a bit too much. It's just a demonstration of a way of going through campaign mode while utilizing certain perks and power-ups, but like honestly, this information kind of overshadows that right now. So I thought, well, I should probably put this out first. I might do the Lucy Loud full campaign run later on, but wanted to make sure I got this out there. So I should note that I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4. If you're trying this out on another console and it doesn't work for you, let me know. If you found this video helpful or informative, leave a like, let people know about it, spread the word. Subscribe if you want to, although I don't do a lot of videos like this. This is just something that I happens to notice and I don't think it's been covered yet. But I do do a lot of video game videos on this channel. So if the sound of my voice is something that you want more of, hit subscribe and you will be getting it from time to time. Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments. Have you encountered any of the other glitches that I've mentioned? The not being able to unlock all costumes and the game crashing when you're just trying to do something as simple as switch characters? If that's something that's been plaguing you too, then let me know in the comments. That's all for now. I will see you later. And thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe.